Okay. Yep. There it happened again. I don't know why that happens. Did they add new monsters? DLC is probably better than just releasing a third version now. I'm a uh, Poke Boomer, I suppose. I haven't played since Black and White. Ah, you're fine, Apollo. The first part is called The Teal Mask, and it looks like you go on a school trip and attend at a festival. But I do love when other people play. I always think the new ones are really cool looking. My first game was Red and Blue. I'm an OG. Yeah, my first was Red and Blue as well. We begin driving back to the mansion. As we break out of the dense forest, I can see building lights pop up here and there. <clears throat> well, that was a complete waste of time. My anxiety lifted. I don't even bother to filter the words that slip out of my mouth. Oh, I don't think that's true. It's all coming together for me. Without further prodding, Christy starts in on her theory, passing evident, pa passion evident in her voice. I believe Shimio was right. Eight Shrine is definitely what's causing all the strange stuff in the forest. I'm sure it's those stolen statues. Don't you agree? I wonder. It feels like we just don't have enough info at this point to say one way or the other. But there's no denying that a lot of strange things are going on in that forest. Between all the suicides and Shimio wandering around, it couldn't just be coincidence, could it? If we research the shrine, we might learn more about the mark. I feel that's a lot safer than risking our lives looking for the spirit. Don't you think? You might be right. My replies are half-hearted, which isn't what Christy was hoping for, so she falls silent. An awkward, uncomfortable silence settles. <clears throat> Lord Yashiki, please stop the car. Mary speaks for the first time since we entered the car. What is it? I sense a presence similar to Lady Christie's mark close by. Oh, uh oh, what? Huh? What? Who? What? Whatever. What's happening? Uh, yeah, I bought blue. My friend bought red. I think my favorite was silver and gold. As most peeps prop can tell, my now by now my favorite Pokemon's Gengar. Yeah, he he, funny little ghosty friend. I played silver gold the most for sure, but I never knew crystal existed until way later. Yeah. I like the art style of this game. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoy it, Magus. Following Mary's request, I park in a vacant rest stop on the outskirts of H City. <sighs> um, yeah, I think Silver and Gold were probably one of my favorites too, partially because of just how much they put into it. Like, not only do you get to do the new like area and go through everything there, but then after you finish the game, or you finish the main part, you can then go through all of, uh, all of the original area as well. All of uh, Johto, EPDZ doing a heckin' yawn. I'm not EP. I'm fine. I just need to air. I just need breathe, I guess. Alright. Christy and I step out of the car. What? What the hell was that? G. Huh? My mark is suddenly scalding. Is something nearby? Uh, look. Someone's over there. I would love to do one with the whole known world in it. That would be pretty cool. Huh? What? I don't... Oh. Hi? A small girl steps out of the telephone box. Why is that kid outside at this time of night? Thank you for bringing me out here this late at night, Ita. I got to talk with Hanayomi. Oh yeah? Glad to hear it. 
Oh. Hi. A rather round young man appears, stepping out of the shadows. You got your question answered, Suzu? Yeah, it's okay now. Hanayomi sure is amazing, though. She knows where everything is. You got that right. Psychic detective? I don't, I'm not sure. Pokemon World coming soon to Nintendo Switch 2, Electric Boogaloo. Oh my god. What is on your shirt, man? She helped me find my limited edition Love and Hero phone strap I dropped. Uh, what's Love and Hero? What? You don't know? They're a popular idol group here. They've been all over TV lately. I'm surprised you haven't heard. TV's restricted at home. Mom says it rots your brain. Oh, Ita, is the bus coming soon? Oh, the last bus is on its way. Seriously, what is on your shirt? I'm I'm curious. Oh, okay, I can do that. Okay. Namu. What the hell? I wonder if that's an actual anime reference or if they just made up something. I mean, it looks like it's a ghost girl, so I don't know. That guy is creepy. Yeah, a little bit. I would have to agree. We better go. We'll be in big trouble if your mom finds out we went out. Yeah. We watch from a distance for a while, but it's hard to determine their relationship. The pain from my scar is suddenly gone. Hey, Christy. What do you think? I turn, but Christy isn't there. Hey, you there. Just how do you know that girl? Depending on your answer, I'll report you for child abduction. Oh, God. Well, there goes Christy hounding the poor guy. Just calm down. I try to placate her, but she won't budge. Uh, um, I, I, I... The man stumbles over his, over his words. He looks flustered and overwhelmed. Hey, lady. Don't be mean to Aita. The girl rushes to stand defensively in front of him and glares at us. She seems a lot more level-headed than the flustered guy behind her. I asked him to help me, okay? I wanted to talk to Hanayomi, so I had him come with me. I'd make a com it'd make a I'd make a comeback if they did. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, oh, fair, fair, Apollo. Who's this Hana Yomi you keep mentioning? A ghost who helps find things. People say that you can talk to her from this telephone box. A ghost, huh? She looks at me. Hey lady, brush your teeth. Who? Who are you talking to, V4? Huh? Huh? Isn't Hanayomi the toilet ghost? No, no, that's Hanako. You're thinking of Hanako, Magus. Don't ask me why I know that. Um, we're both thinking the same thing. Earlier, the mark was hurting, so maybe... Oh, that's selfie. It's not selfie! says red paper or blue paper. Uh, that's not the Hanukkah one. You guys look serious. Uh, what's going on? He nervously glances between us. No paper. Does this scar look familiar at all? I show them the mark on my right arm. Hey, hold on. What is this? That looks exactly like mine. Uh-oh. He pulls off one of his gloves and reveals the mark on his hand. It's the cursed scar, yeah? I saw an article on it in Uparts Monthly. They say it causes amnesia, even kills you. But that's nonsense. It's not all true, right? Right. 
Sounds like he'd heard the rumors, but chose to not do anything about it. That's no surprise, really. It's tough to believe it's real until your memory loss starts becoming noticeable. I've got one of those, too. Oh, uh-oh. It showed up on my left wrist when I made that phone call earlier. Oh! Pulling up her sleeve, she shows us her mark. They both have the mark, and after calling Hanayomi. That's more than a coincidence. Well, we can't just leave them here. Let's bring them to the mansion. Use water. Splash the butt. Oh my god. Well, you're talking about a... Uh... God damn it, what's that thing called? Bidet? A bidet, Magus? Oh, we're all just hanging out here showing off our cursed marks? Nice, yeah. We tell them what's going on and ask them to go to Cujo Mansion with us. It surprisingly doesn't take much to get them to come. I thought it'd take more convincing. Could partially be because they missed the last bus while talking with us. Psh. When they show their cursed marks, they all hang out. But whenever I so show, it's suddenly the police have to show up. Fine. Apollo. Apollo. Where is your cursed mark? Huh? Location might have a big thing, big, uh, big deal with why that's the case. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? You want to tell me? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Zara and showing her cursed mark right now. I don't have one. What are you talking about? What do you mean, V4? Paulo and I clearly share a brain cell. I was about to write the same thing. Oh my. This is not this is very incriminating. I choose why to wisely not speak. That's what I thought. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright then. V4, her rack. Okay, alright, alright. That no, 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 no. Oh, wait, did I not read that? Hang on. Before they climb in, I warn Mary to stay quiet until we get back. Might be a bad idea to freak them out. Alright. First, we introduce ourselves. The man's name is Aita Nakamatsu. The girl is Suzu Morimiya. They tell us they met through the reader's column in Uparts Monthly. Suzu mentioned she was interested in Hanayomi, and Ida told her what he knew. Then she pestered him into bringing her to the rumored telephone box. They were out this late because of her. Her parents sound pretty, pretty strict. Her mother keeps a close eye on her after school, and she needs permission to go out. So she snuck out of the house after her mother went to bed. Fair. Fair. Hanayomi is just as famous at my school as Hanahiko is. Hey, Aita. Please tell them about those rumors. Uh-oh. Do I have to? Okay, fine. Aita reluctantly tells us at Suzu's request. Uh-oh. They're just rumors I read, but... Here we go. Bonks before with the horny pet. <laughs> Megas. Oh my god. <clears throat> Chapter 3. Hana Yomi. Oh. I'm sorry. What? Hey, remember that one story? You know, the one about the public phone box in each city? There's a ghost that looks like a bride, and she'll find what you're looking for. Ah. Uh, one of my friends actually tried it. He went to the specific phone box that lets you talk with ghosts. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Blanky mode activate. Yeah, we might have some problems. <clears throat> I 
The phone suddenly started ringing. He slowly picked up the phone. But all he could hear was this weird smacking noise. What the hell? What the hell is that noise? Yeah. Yeah. You, you like that noise, chat? Huh? Huh? You like that? This is either something disgusting or something lewd going on. Or both. No comment. He stayed on the line until... I don't want to know what that noise is. <laughs> Did you see it? He heard a woman whisper. So he did what the rumor said to do, and said, No, I haven't seen it. Then she said, What do you want to see? His cat had gone missing, so he asked where it was. When he looked where the woman said it was, it really was there. So the rumors are totally true. I want to go ask her where my future bride is now. Oh, want to come with me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lude. My god. They're just making mac and cheese, I swear. Ah, I did it again. Stop doing that flash. Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. It's only this game, too. I've never seen it happen with other games. There. Er... <clears throat> there. I carry Mary from the car and gently place her back on the sofa. Thank you very much. Being in your arms is not bad, but I am most calm when I am here. The doll really talked. I can't say I expected that. Then does that mean all that stuff about the mark is true too? <clears throat> On the way over, we updated Suzu and Aita with just about all they needed to know. They may not completely believe us, but they're not rejecting it outright either. It seems like Aita in particular has already experienced some memory loss. Something about forgetting the names of anime characters or voice actors? Christy looked at him strange, but he appears to be taking it quite seriously. And Suzu snuck out of her house because she believed the rumors about Hanayomi. Yome? Hanayome? Oh. They both believed in the occult already. I'm pretty sure they'll help us find a way to escape the mark. Granted, they're also really curious about Hanayome. Pardon me, but may I speak? The marks on Suzu and Aita, they are likely from Hanayome. And Lady Christy, the feeling I sense from your mark is the same as theirs. So we can assume Hanayome also gave the mark to you. Do you recall encountering her? Something weird did happen right before I entered the forest. I stepped in the phone box on Tea Mountain. The phone rang out of nowhere. Oh, it might be because of that. The telephone box at the rat that rest area is also in the rumors of Hanayome. But, but I didn't pick it up. It creeped me out, so I left. I was never able to give that person one final call because of that. Huh? One... what person? Uh... Who are you talking about? It is not for children to know. But fine. So there are other phone boxes like that? 
Uh, I think. There are three that Hanayome will call from. The one we went to in the A Highway parking lot is one. And one is at Team Mountain Rest Area. That's the one Miss Christie went to. And, um, Aito, where's the last one? At the park by T Apartment Complex. It's the only one inside the city. But why just those three locations? Dunno, the BBS I read didn't say. Um, mister? Do you really think Hana Yome is the one who gave us our gave us the marks? Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. Oof. Oh god. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Class. Oh, okay, Megas, hang on, hang on. Alright, let me just, let me, let me stretch a little bit, okay. I just hydrated, but all right, I'll take another sip. <laughs> Untangle those bones. All right, all right, I'm on it. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure yet, maybe not. Of course. But the rumors about Hanayome go back five years. And no one's ever mentioned that if you call her, you'll get a mark. Actually, I'm gonna get up and walk around for a few minutes. I'll be, I'll be right back. All right, Apollo, enjoy your walk and stretching. Suzu's right. Rumors about this mark thing only popped up super recently. So you're saying, Hanayome hasn't always been giving out the mark? If that's true, I wonder what triggered the change. Of course, I can't really say, seeing as I don't know anything about spirits. A ghost helping people find what they're looking for. That's pretty strange. Definitely the definition of ghost story. Hey, Mr. Yashiki, if those rumors are true, why don't we try asking where the stolen statues are? If we return them to their places, it might just save our lives. Hmm. Search for the Buddha statues. If Christie's right, we might be able to escape the mark without fighting a spirit. Mary, what do you think? A good question. Objects with human forms are easily able to gain inexplicable powers. Bleeding stone statues, cursed dolls, there are many examples. Historical statues of gods and Buddhas would certainly be no exception. <clears throat> Good idea. I'm going to get rid of my plate and get a drinky. Okay, may I guess. Asking Hanayome about them would be a good idea. <clears throat> so says the doll before our eyes that has the inex inexplicable power to talk. Maybe it wouldn't be strange that Buddhist statues could bring down divine wrath. Lord Yashiki, may I add, as I explained previously, your mark is... It is different from the others. Vanquishing spirits seems to weaken your mark's power. It's been several days since she told me that I was going to die. Taking care of the spirits we encountered is likely how I'm still among the living. What are you trying to say? I cannot say what the relationship between your mark and Hanayome is, but it is true it is in your best interest to track down spirits. I hope you will guide these mark bearers this evening as well. 
I can't really picture Christy and Ita facing off against a spirit by themselves. If they failed, then a child would suffer the deadly consequences. That would weigh heavily on me. No turning back. I'll figure something out. Thank you. Mary bows her head slightly. <clears throat> now, you should begin investigating Hanayomi. Why does she only call from three public phones within H City? Her secret may lie in the answer. You visited the parking lot already. Please investigate T Mountain and the park by T Apartment Complex. New info is added to Spirit File. Rumors of Hanayome Other. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, bag. So we got Christy. Okay. Suzu Morimiya, female elementary school student. A young girl who called Hanayome to ask her something and received the mark. She was raised in a complicated household and is extremely mature. The only thing childish about her is her love of animals. Ita Nakamatsu, male, self-employed or so he says. An occult maniac who's addis addicted to BBSs. He met Suzu through the reader's column in Uparts Monthly and she idolizes him like a big brother for whatever reason. This is the beginning of the hottest summer in the life of Ita, age 33. Oh my god. You poor son of a bitch. Okay. Alright. Uh. So wait, can I see, like, stats? There is a thing. Okay. Damn it. I thought there was a thing to see stats. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see? Look, spirit, intelligent spirit power. Oh, so wait, I have to pick someone to partner with to do that? Okay, so what happens if I partner with Suzu? Whoa! Okay, so her power, intelligence, and dexterity aren't that high, but her spirit power is off the goddamn chart. What about him? Timid nerd. He's extremely dexterous. Alright, I'll keep that in mind if I need him to, uh... If I need someone who can dodge something. She's smart. That's decent spirit power. I think I want the girl. I think I want high spirit power. Maybe. Okay, uh, Hanayome. Here we go. <clears throat> Rumors of Hanayome. With the end of the 90s, online infrastructure has advanced the popularity of a certain widely used BBS. Hanayome is an urban legend that sprung up from that BBS. It goes as follows. Certain telephone booths in each city will let you talk to ghosts. If you go inside one and wait, the phone will suddenly ring. I'm back. Welcome back, Magus. Pick it up, and you'll hear a strange lip-smacking noise. Oh! Wait, so that's what it was. It was... Hang on. I apologize heavily to chat if you hated that, but... I'm sorry. A woman will ask, Have you seen it? Rumors say you're supposed to reply with, I haven't seen it. She'll respond with, what do you want to see? Someone actually followed the instructions and was able to find a missing pet. What a strange tale. A lot of people are interested in this ghost, wanting to find things or people who've become lost, but not a single one has ever mentioned getting a mark from her. But the circumstances seem to imply the spirit gave the mark to Eita and Suzu. Plus, why is the spirit called a bride? If she appears as a bride, then someone must have seen her. The first phone box. Three phone boxes in H say let you speak with a ghost. One seems to be the one Eita and Suzu used. 
It shouldn't take long to reach the other two by car. I'm concerned about the statues still in Reach Shrine too. If Han and Yomei really can tell us where they are, that would save us a lot of time. There's only one way to find out. Huh. Oh my? Magus, was that because of my lip smacking? Huh? I'm sorry. Uh... Okay, saving. Lord Eita, Lady Suzu, and Lady Christie. Hanayome is likely the one that gave all of them their marks. Please visit one of the public phones that rumors say Hanayome calls. You may obtain a clue regarding the key that will end the grudge. Alright. Well, we just saved, so... Hmm. Hum, mom, 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 mom. Okay, give me just a second. I'm gonna shove something in my face. Um, by that I mean a food. Give me one second. being first, Magus. I guess no one ever took it. Huh. As a side note, I also have some Ruffles chips. Alright. Let's do this. So it's rest area and park. Um, Alright, let's just go to the rest area first. We'll go from... We'll try just going from left to right, I guess. 